Welcome Outrons. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you the Hogwarts Castle speed paint I did. Uh, it's actually kind of an old video so uh, yeah it's, it's only the third speed paint I've ever done on Procreate so it's not the best but I just wanted to show it anyways and I'm sorry that it's not a body paint but it's what you're gonna get today. <laughs> I know that I haven't really been around much on YouTube but I do want to let you know that I will be trying to post more videos and trying to post more body paint tutorials, the stuff that you or this channel really is mostly about, but um, I also want to incorporate more art and I've talked about that, but the reason why I kind of stopped posting on here is because obviously YouTube algorithm, not a lot of people are seeing my videos, which is fine because I kind of do them for myself anyways, but um, it, 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 it still sucked and um, I ended up finding a new lovely home on Twitch, so if you- I will link it down below and if you are there for body paint, it's always on Saturdays. Um, I might start doing more um, with the time that I have, but for now it's on Saturdays. I also do speed paints like this every once in a while, once in a blue moon, and uh, the rest of the time I do just play games, hang out, and have fun. Uh, of course, if you uh, are also a gamer and want to play with me, I am very open to playing with the community and just having fun, so just wanted to throw that out there. I'll probably talk about Twitch in a different uh, different video and show some clips and kind of tell you what I'm all about over there. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the speed paint and kind of get myself back into the groove of making uh, YouTube videos. It might not be weekly, but I want to try to get back into that. So yeah, so anyways, about the art again, this is um, one that I did. It's like the third speed paint. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, the third speed paint that I did in, in Procreate, and it took me a while because I was doing it very much like I would if I was doing traditional art, which obviously it's not traditional art, um, but it was like trying to experiment with the program and figure things out. I like this one. Um, it looks a lot better in the app than it does actually like rendered and put into a speed paint and stuff. Like I don't know why it doesn't look as good, maybe because I made too many small lines, too many small details. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's still, it's still one of my favorites. I actually really like it. And like I said, it's like the third one that I did, so I've done some since then. I've gotten better at the program, so maybe I could do something like this again and it would look better. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why I, I keep losing my voice. See, that's the one thing is that I've been talking a lot more than I ever have in my whole life and my voice is not very strong, so uh, hopefully it's not annoying to listen to right now. Anyways, with that being said, um, yeah, so it was actually fun to draw, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can't really complain too much. I actually did most of the ink work while I was waiting in the airport because it's a long story, but but uh, my flight got delayed because of the plane just not showing up. I don't know. Very strange. Uh, so I ended up like spending seven hours just chilling in an airport, so... A lot of this line work was done then. It was uh, it was interesting, interesting times. But uh, I, that's another thing is I'm actually gonna be heading. I live in Idaho now. If if that wasn't something I mentioned on YouTube, which it might not have been, and it doesn't really matter. But I am actually gonna be taking a two week little vacation in quotes to uh, California to see my mom and. I'm still going to be trying to stream once in a while on Twitch, but there is no way in hell that I'm going to be making any YouTube videos during then, and I don't even know if I'm going to make them, like, another one between now and then. It's just, I'm going to be trying. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even really know what to say. It's been a long time since I've done, like, a little voiceover thing. Um, I don't know, what would you guys like? Like, Halloween's coming up. If there's a tutorial that you'd like to see for Halloween, like, please let me know. Yeah, I'm excited for Halloween. I don't know. I'm always excited for Halloween, though. All the Halloween stuff is coming out already, and it makes me very happy. Because Halloween is the best. It's the best holiday. Some people like to ask me, like, why do you think Halloween's the best holiday? Well, I think it's the best because you get to dress up and be whoever the hell you want to be. There's spooky things and cute things. There's bats and ghosts and skeletons. And it's like all the things that make me really happy. I know it's so dumb, but like I am such a fantasy freak. Like I love mythical creatures. I love fantasy creatures. That's why I like Harry Potter. I like... Um, I like things that aren't real. Like, I like superheroes. It's not real. Like, I, I, I wish it was. I wish it was real. I love dragons. Um, and so all that stuff is just something that really, 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 really intrigues me. So that's why Halloween's my favorite, because all those things are, like, around more. People talk about it more. You see it more in stores and, like, 
I always tell people it's funny, Halloween comes out and it's like, oh, my home decor is now set out because I actually have a lot of Halloween stuff that I use in my, like, art room space. It's my own personal space and I use it for decor reasons. Like, I have a skeleton candle light or candle holder that I've had for now two years and um, I, had a va I have a vampire one as well and it is, like, four, maybe five years old now and it's like, I just love that kind of stuff. Ooh, 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 okay, so here's the part where I finally start doing the coloring and the sky was so fun like oh gosh Not to like jump back into the art, but I just figured like that guy should probably go back to talking about that um, It was really fun to do the little like the sky and just block out the colors And now I know there's a clipping a way to clip the layers so you don't have to like erase around everything again um, I didn't know that before I actually haven't tried it yet So I don't even know if I know how to do it, but I know that there is a way to do it So I'll figure that out eventually so I'm not erasing around the edges, but I actually don't mind racing around the edges, it actually was kind of therapeutic just to sit there and like do the basic erasing, but sometimes it could probably get annoying. And then right here doing the water texture, oh, I found out there was a water tool. I'm like, well that makes life a lot easier because when you're doing it traditionally, you don't have a tool that makes it look like water, you have to do it yourself. Picking out the colors is really hard too because I'm a very, okay, I don't know how everybody else is, but I'm a very cool toned person. So like I wanted everything to be very cool toned and doing like brown cool tones is very hard. It almost looked gray, but I was kind of okay with that. And I adjusted the colors at the end too, um, like the final picture, which I didn't really, I had to like add the final picture in. Um, it looks a lot better um, with the colors adjusted, making them look a little bit um, duller, darker, and cooler, even cooler than I have them. I think it's kind of cool um, and I also like use a sharpening tool to make it really sharp looking because for some reason like I said the translated picture it like didn't look sharp enough I don't really know why I, like I don't maybe I'm translating the picture and video wrong um, if you are a procreate expert please let me know what I'm doing because apparently I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm doing um, but yeah and so, yeah, doing the rocks was the only annoying part. Like, I don't know why, but all of the boulders and rocks, I was like, I'm so done doing this. Like, so they kind of look rushed because they were. So I was like, this is not fun. I want to work on the castle. For some reason, was, I was excited to do the castle light coming out of some of the, like, doors and windows. I wasn't going to do that at first either, but then I was like, no, I have to add light. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> Um, I also like doing everything in like a lot of different layers. I even do more layers now than I did in this one. Um, it's nice to just be able to like work in layers that way if you need to start over or if you accidentally do something wrong or whatever you don't have to worry about like redoing the whole piece you're just redoing the layer that that piece was on. So I don't know. But yeah. So yeah see so you can tell I wasn't gonna do light at first but I was like like I was and then it wasn't. It's also strange because the um, line work like started looking white up at the top and I don't know why that happened either. I did go in and adjust it but it's like, why, why, why are you doing this to me? But see, adding the light in there looks so much better. It looks like people are actually like in there using it. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Sorry, it's just a speed paint. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. And again, I'll get back into doing tutorials hopefully soon. And sorry if this voiceover was all over the place. Uh, I just woke up too. Uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will be sure to catch you guys next time. Bye!